Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. I am Mike Fuson. We are continuing our discussion around INO, Infrastructure and Operations Maturity, and this is part two of discussing some of the greater challenges that exist, the small challenges that kind of go along with uh, many of the uh, INO maturity efforts that we may make um, are, for many of us, somewhat obvious. Uh, but some of the larger challenges are harder to put a finger on. Uh, I talked about being undecided where to start. One of the other areas where, where it can be a little bit more challenging is being unclear on what the improvement impact may be. Um, one of the things when you're going through uh, any maturity effort, you want to be able to measure how that the impact that that effort has had. And sometimes that's difficult to do in certain areas of INO maturity because the impact may not be apparent for a while. Um, the impact may be small in the very beginning, but be larger as time goes on. So what we don't want to do is get mired in analysis paralysis and be trying to look at, well, how are we going to measure this? And are we going to, going to get our ROI inside of a three-month period? Sometimes the ROI may take 12 to 18 months for that initial maturity effort. But once you've crossed that threshold, you're able to continue a maturity process at a faster pace than you might have had you not begun to begin with. And it is something that we see in organizations, the reasons that maturity efforts, whether it be INO or service management uh, or any other efforts within their IT organization, why uh, the maturity efforts are not uh, moved on as quickly as they might otherwise be, it's having a lack of understanding of the impacts that a maturity effort may have. So you have to look at uh, a short-term, a medium-term, and long-term impacts uh, as to how it's going to help your organization. Stay with us as we continue to explore uh, some of the challenges related to INO maturity efforts. 